Hong Kong, Orbital 3, the, slack, the fact that our planet is slowly dying and is literally on fire and there's nothing we can do about it because it's mostly caused by corporations and China. Welcome to Politic Dom. Today we're talking about none of that because it scares the hell out of me. And today we're talking about Dublin, a small co country off the coast of Australia that's currently having a racial conflict between the natives and uh, immigrants. In 2000, the king of the island named Rorth was killed in battle by the opposing force of general, simply known as Asgog. This caused the natives to retreat and basically become refugees within their own country, uh, led by Vort's son, whose name isn't important because he didn't do anything. So recently, an insurgent fraction has risen under King Vort's grandson. They're trying to take back the capital city, and in an interview, Nerorth said, I will not parlay, as I said, with armed men at my gate. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how the conflicts arose, the history of it, and why it matters to us in America. Ha! I've lulled you into a false sense of security. Welcome to Politics Off, which today we're actually going to be talking about fake news. Fake news has been around since humans have recorded information of We'll go over more of that later. But basically, fake news can range from CNN's liberal bias, The Onion's pure and utter satire, to InfoWars conspiracy theories. Fake news took center stage right after the 2016 election when on January 11th, 2017, Trump t tweeted in all caps, fake news, political witch hunt. The best way to really understand it is to look at examples. So from there, come with me and we'll be in a world of misinformation. I should not sing. Fake news can fall into one of three categories. Satire, misinformation, and propaganda. These two overlap, like, a lot. Like, imagine satire is yellow, misinformation is uh, lilac, and then propaganda is like light purple, but like it kind of looks like lilac and you can't really tell. And you're too lazy to like take a color dopper and like actually see it. That was, again, bad metaphors. Anyway, at the beginning of the episode, we mentioned that fake news has been happening for a really, really long time. In fact, this happened as early as 63 BC, when Emperor uh, Augustus Gaius Octavius, Thernius, damn Romans, uh, used information to win political power over Mark Antony, Cleopatra guy. This is misinformation and propaganda, expect a lot of things right here. Another example is uh, literally all of Jewish history when Jews were blamed for, you know, the plague, being Christ killers, yada, yada, yada. This is propaganda. Then in the 16th and 17th century, right after the printing press was invented, it became really common just to kind of make gossip news. This is basically when the Revolutionary War was happening and Ben Franklin was like, hey, we need more support. Let's do that by printing things in a paper. This is propaganda. Wow, there is no satire here. That is almost seems like a joke. Uh, 1835, one of the most famous stories in all the fake news. Basically, the New York Sun ran a story about weird creatures living on the moon that went on to become one of the best-selling news articles of the time. It's known as the moon hoax. Um, I don't know where this falls under. It's, I think it's satire misinformation because, you know, moon goblins. 1915, it's the First World War. If you know anything about wars, you know propaganda. 1920 to 1991, those have a ring a bell? They, they really shouldn't, and I'm mildly concerned if they do. It's the years the Soviet Union existed. Soviets love their propaganda and misinformation. It's how you keep communism alive. 1933 and 1945. Nazis. 1991. This one was a rumor that Vladimir Lenin's body would be auctioned off for millions of dollars. This is a rumor, so I'm just gonna put it under misinformation. Uh, but if anyone knows where to buy that sick, sick lemon arm, Lenin, lemon, Lenin arm, you know where to find me. 2000. This one was only in here because we were in desperate need of something that was actually satire. Uh, it's when the Onion ran their story about how Harry Potter was converting kids to Satanism. And you'd think this one would be like pretty obvious, that satire, but no, this still gets shared on Facebooks. And lastly, the thing that started it all, the catalyst of fake news in the modern day. Hashtag Pizzagate. 
Um, people thought that Hillary Clinton was being involved in human trafficking via a pizza restaurant. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This also, just a general heads up before we end off. Um, with the impending war tensions, you can expect an increase in biased news because history has a very linear pattern and it loves to repeat itself. So just be wary when reading things about Iran because there's like a 99.999999% chance that there's some sort of bias there. So this has been the final Politic Doff, a show where I haven't actually been that angry. Thanks for watching. Why, why did we do this series again? Like, ah uh, yes, the transcript class, where you can do all sorts of amazing things that require much less work than this. Let's be Trevor Noah.